Hey guys, welcome to Diablo Dictionary Build. My goal is to provide all viable builds in my channel so people can have one place to go. Now, today I bring you guys on the table a totally brand new build for Monk and it's really amazing. It totally changes the concept of Monk. Um, I call this the ninja, ninja murder build because you really just like flash there and then you you group them, cycle, and then you just freeze them. Next thing you know, you, you get more spirit with Guardian's Path, two-handed weapon, all spirit generation is increased by 35%. But now, that one is not enough. You also need Crippling Wave, Riding Tide, or Fist of Thunder, Quickening. Now, once you catch those down, the next thing you know is like after they froze, you can just freeze them once again. Why I call this the ninja build? Because um, the way he holds the weapon, let's check it out. I mean, dude, that totally looks like a ninja. Left and right. I don't know why he have to carry his sword like that. Uh, it's probably the way it's meant to be a uh, ninja or something. Anyway, let's try to chop this ninja wood. Ninja chop. Oop, that works. Okay, <laughs> so let's go back to the build. It's really not that hard. This is really a, a straightforward uh, hack and slash build. But what it, what you bring to the table is you also help your groups. So main dish is wave of light, numbing light. Crit hit freezes enemy for 4.5 seconds. That's huge. That's huge duration. It's the longest freeze duration. Out of weapon plus passive plus skills out of all classes. This really brings in a brand new build for for monks. Now uh, for those monks who want to just do tanking um, and they just have like torment one or two gear, you can check out my other video. I've I'm doing torment six with just torment two gears. Yes, that's under fifth that's under five million DPS and under seven million base DPS and I'm tanking I'm tanking Torment 6 with, for groups with Cyclone. Just helping people out and helping groups, helping Wizard, Demon Hunter, and just like really fast cleaning everything in Torment 5 or Torment 6. So make sure you check out that video. That's one of my best video. And this build is more for people who want to do more action. They, they get more DPS burst out of it. And the good thing is about Wave of Life got Burst, got buff, so the weapon damage increase. Now I've tested all wave of light. Most people use the um, the what fire one. That's great, but uh, it really brings nothing to the group, and the survivability isn't all that great as well. So that's why I use numbing light. This one is more suitable for grouping and. People are really gonna like you when you group and you cyclone plus you free stuff. It's that's like the number one plus number two thing. All, all done by you, a monk. Um, let's go over the mystic ally, fire ally. There's there's no uh, it's necessary for like stacking fire for this build. Fire ally is just to increase my damage by an additional ten percent. And mantra conviction over where. That's really standard. Uh, it's going to increase your damage by another 16%. So make sure you pop that and remember to pop that when you're like bursting people down before you hit wave of light in a group. So this is really straightforward build. So basically you flash and you cyclone strike, group them together and freeze them. After you're freezing them, regen more 75 spirit and freeze them again and again. It really just locks them down and and just like kill them without even having them giving them a chance to move. It's really awesome build. So let's try it out. Flash, group, burst. Your flaws are revealed. Flash, group, burst. Burst. Burst again. I 
don't have enough spirit. Your strength fails. Flash. Group. Burst. Alright, see, I just, I really just locked down that elite right there. He probably hit me for like a couple of times, and that was it for his life. You can pretty much just do this all day, and the key point is to, is to have a Exaltic Soul and Guardian's Path. You need Guardian's Path because you need the 35%. You see, uh, all spirit generation is increased by 35%. Now, again, for the primary, you can use Crippling Wave or uh, the Lightning one. Uh, they're both fine, but make sure you charge them with additional spirit. And what you want to do in Paragon Point is definitely increase your critical chance. Mines is pretty high, so. I'm leaving that out, it's okay. Mine's is like 45. But um, for anyone who's like 120 Paragon or above, they can definitely do that. And this build is definitely viable. It's, it's gonna help the group a lot. Really awesome build. Let's cut our last piece of wood. Ninja cut. Alright, here's a bigger piece of wood. Let's try to cut that. Ninja slash. Oh, 
Spirit. 